Welcome to our unique journey to the land of beauty and history, to Tunisia, the jewel of the Mediterranean. In this film, we will explore the diversity of this unique destination that combines ancient heritage and enchanting natural beauty. We begin our journey in the modern capital of Tunisia, where history meets modernity. We wander through its narrow alleys and enjoy the splendor of traditional Arab architecture and vibrant markets. We will visit historical sites such as Al Kasba and the Old Medina to explore Tunisia's ancient past. Then we head to ancient cities such as Carthage and Gafsa, where the ruins tell ancient stories about the civilizations of the past. We will explore its stunning national parks, such as Tabier and Golden. Beaches, where the Emerald Sea meets the Green Plains. On our trip, it will not only be amazing history, but we will learn about the rich culture and wonderful arts of Tunisia. We will listen to Tunisian Tarab, watch the fast dance, and taste its delicious traditional dishes. Tunisia is not just a tourist destination, but rather a living story told by its streets, places, and people. Let us dive into this magic that combines the present and the past, and explore the beauty of Tunisia through the lens of this unique film. Embark with us on this exciting journey and prepare to discover the magic of Tunisia for yourself. Tunisia, its origins and history. Tunisia is a country located in North Africa that shares borders with the Mediterranean Sea, Algeria, and Libya. The history of Tunisia is long and rich, as the region has witnessed great influence by different civilizations. Tunisia was part of the Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire before the Islamic period came, which witnessed an important cultural and economic breakthrough. Its modern development, Tunisia achieved its independence from France in 1956 and subsequently witnessed multiple stages of political and economic development. Tunisia faces challenges and opportunities and is making efforts to improve political stability and promote economic development. Its cultural and historical landmarks, Tunisia is distinguished by unique historical and cultural landmarks, including First, the Old City, Arab City The Old Medina of Tunisia, also known as the Arab Medina, is one of the magnificent historical monuments that reflects a long history and rich civilization. This region is an integral part of Tunisia's cultural heritage and is an inspiration for visitors and culture seekers. Main features of the old city, urban structure. The old city is characterized by its traditional Arab urban structure, where narrow alleys and buildings with unique architecture can be found. importance of the old city, the old city is a major stop along the path of Tunisia's history as it witnessed the cultural influences of the different civilizations that inhabited the region over the centuries. Preserving and caring for the old city is an essential part of the efforts aimed at preserving Tunisia's historical heritage and passing it on to future generations. Second, Carthage, Carthage, a symbol of history and civilization in Tunisia. History of Carthage, the city of Carthage, located on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea in Tunisia, is one of the most important historical landmarks in the region. The city's history goes back to ancient times, when it was founded by the Phoenicians in the 9th century BC. Cultural importance of Carthage, Carthage has great cultural importance as it was the capital of the Phoenician Empire and later turned into a Roman colony. Relics of those time periods can be found in the city, making it a unique archaeological site.
Important Landmarks in Carthage Archaeological Site Carthage contains important archaeological sites, such as Roman theaters, baths, and the Three Arches, which highlight the greatness of the civilizations that flourished in the region. National Museum of Carthage The museum is home to many artifacts and art that tell the story of the city's development through the ages. Lake District Lake Carthage adds a stunning natural touch to the city, making it an ideal place to enjoy the seascape. Modern Importance of the City Carthage maintains its importance as a great tourist destination, with visitors coming from all over the world to explore its historical and cultural beauty. The city combines ancient heritage with modern life, providing a unique experience for every visitor. National Museum of Carthage, it is considered one of the most important museums in Tunisia and is located in the heart of the city of Carthage. It includes a rich collection of artifacts dating back to the Phoenician and Roman eras. Bardo Museum it is located in the Bardo Presidential Palace and displays a variety of paintings, fine arts, and historical furniture. Islamic Art Museum It is located in the old Medina of Tunis and displays wonderful Islamic arts and crafts. Fifth, tourist attractions. Tourist attractions in Tunisia include 1. Hammamet City, geographic location, the city of Hammamet is located on the northeastern coast of Tunisia and is famous for its beautiful sandy beaches and moderate climate. Tourism there, Hammamet is one of the most prominent tourist areas. In Tunisia, attracting visitors thanks to its luxurious resorts and various recreational activities. Roman Baths, the city includes important Roman monuments, such as the Roman Baths, which date back to ancient times and reflect the influence of Roman civilization in the region. Historical Port The historic port of Hammamet forms an important part of the city's charm, where visitors can enjoy wonderful seascapes and seafood restaurants. Nightlife, Hammamet is famous for its vibrant nightlife, where visitors can enjoy cafes, restaurants and entertainment venues in the evening. Resorts and hotels, Hammamet includes a variety of tourist resorts and luxury hotels that provide luxurious accommodation experiences for visitors. Water sports, water sports lovers can enjoy activities such as surfing and diving in the clear blue waters. Traditional Markets Ham Mamet hosts traditional markets where visitors can enjoy shopping and buying handicrafts and souvenirs. Culture and Heritage Visitors can explore culture and history by visiting museums and historical landmarks in the city. The city of Ham Mamet combines natural beauty and rich history, making it an ideal destination for tourists looking to have a unique experience in Tunisia. 3. Sousse, Sousse City in Tunisia, Geographical Location The city of Sousse is located on the northeastern coast of Tunisia. It is one of the beautiful coastal cities famous for its sandy beaches and rich history. Sea Fort The Sea Fort in Sousse is considered one of the most prominent historical monuments and provides wonderful views of the Mediterranean Sea. Old City The Old City contains traditional markets and narrow streets that reflect the historical and cultural character of the region. Museums and galleries. Visitors can explore history and culture by visiting the city's museums and art galleries. Bagagwaba Beach. Bagagwaba Beach is one of the most famous beaches in Sousse, with its soft sand and clear water. Gardens and parks. Sousse contains beautiful gardens and green parks that provide ideal places to relax and enjoy nature. Crafts and shopping. The city is famous for its handicrafts industry, and visitors can shop in the local markets to buy traditional products. Nightlife. Sousse has an active nightlife, where visitors can enjoy cafes, restaurants, and entertainment venues. 4. Blue Island. Blue Island in Tunisia, the site. Blue Island is considered one of the unique tourist destinations in Tunisia, located in the Mediterranean Sea. The amazing nature, the island is distinguished by its white sandy beaches and clear blue waters, making it an ideal place for nature and sea lovers. Snorkeling and diving, 
the island is considered a great location for snorkeling and diving enthusiasts, where they can explore the depths of the sea and see the diverse marine life. Marine activities, visitors can enjoy a variety of marine activities, such as boating and water skiing. Local culture it gives visitors an opportunity to discover local culture and interact with the island's residents. Calm and relax the island is a peaceful haven and an ideal place to escape the hustle and bustle of daily life and enjoy peace and relaxation. Birds and wildlife the island provides an environment for birds and wildlife which enhances the experience of bird watching and enjoying environmental diversity. Sustainable tourism Sustainable tourism is promoted to preserve the beauty and purity of the island. Thank you for following this journey with us in exploring green Tunisia. If you enjoyed the video and want more great content about wonderful destinations around the world, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the like button and to always be informed of the latest videos. Do not forget to activate notifications we look forward to sharing more adventures with you in the future, bye.